Welcome to the Tennis Warehouse Racket Review of the Wilson Prostaff 61100 V14. You can carry on the 61 legend with this 100 square inch player's racket. The larger head size offers a more forgiving response compared to pro stars of old, making this a perfect racket for today's aggressive game. The 16 by 19 string pattern offers excellent access to spin and is complemented by Wilson's 45 technology, which increases lateral bending of the frame for even more action on your shots. The 11.4 ounce average strung weight combines with a 328 swing weight for a solid yet easy to maneuver feel. I've hit many pro staffs over the years starting back with the old 6085 and moving on up into the more modern iterations of this lineage and I really enjoyed this racket. Thought it offered a great kind of grip it and rip it response for me so I got a nice aggressive first serve in. I was getting super easy access to pace and spin on that delivery and then I could bang away with some big for, for me forehands and try and get the job done that way when I came up to the net. I thought the racket had plenty of that old pro staff feel where it felt fast in my hand, yet nice and solid and crisp at impact. Um, if I did have a knock on this racket, it was a little bit flighty, and if I caught the ball flat from the baseline, I could send some of my shots long, which kind of reminded me of the old 6-1 classic, to be honest with you. And I would just like this one to have maybe a slightly denser string pattern just to dial it in more. I'm more of an 18-20 pattern player, but I thought it had plenty of pro staff heritage to it. Easy to racket you use. If you like to hit with pace and spin, this one you should take out for a demo. Really excited to be here today to talk about the new 61100 Pro Staff. The offering that I think is just a really intelligently put together racket. There's a rather large gap between the Pro Staff 97L, 285 grams, and you're going to launch all the way to 315 grams of the Pro Staff, or even heavier with the RF. I think this racket fits nicely at about 305 grams. For me, that's enough weight to remain stable against most ground stroke attacks. Uh, I would say the 100 square inch head makes it a little more user friendly, easier to skid the ball across and generate spin than maybe a 97 square inch hoop. So overall I just think this is a more versatile offering, whether you're a short point player or a counter puncher like me, or if you're somebody who wants to modify the racket, I think this is ripe for all, all reasons. This one does have a slightly more glossy finish as compared to the matte color of the other pro staffs, distinguishing it a little bit more. Overall, love the play test. Probably one of my favorite shots to hit with it is the serve and the forehand. But again, just a very nice all-court racket. I do agree that it may be a little tighter string pattern. Maybe like Hennen's old BLX Tour 1620 in here would kind of rein in a little bit of that inherent power that this Pro Staff 61100 affords you. This was an interesting play test for me. Um, on paper, the specs are kind of ideal for me and where I want it to be. But once I got on court, for some reason, I just wasn't really gelling with this racket. But I will start with the positives. This Pro Staff is one of the most easiest user-friendly Pro Staffs I've ever hit with. I also found that on my ground strokes, I was getting really easy power, spin, and depth on my shots. And because it is a Pro Staff, I really enjoyed the feel of this racket. I felt really well connected with my shots. Now, a couple downsides for me, uh, one being that, like Chris mentioned, I found this racket to be a little bit flighty and launchy, especially when I was really trying to swing out and try to put the ball away. Uh, I just found that my balls were sailing a little bit longer, long for me more often than not. Um, also found the torsional stability to not be the best, especially up at net. Uh, just found that this racket was getting pushed around a little bit, but a little bit of tungsten tape there should sure that up with no issues. Overall, I think if you're looking to get into the Pro Staff line, then this is definitely an area where you want to start. I'm going to echo a lot of what the other play testers have already said. And with this play test, I was quickly reminded of how much I'm loving the Pro Staff 97 version 14 and the Pro Staff X version 14. So playing those side by side this racket, this one definitely felt a bit firmer and more powerful to me. The word I kept using was launchy, which in Michelle translation, that means that the ball was pocketing really well, but it was also launching really high and fast and deep into the court. So I didn't feel as connected to my shots as I do with the Pro Staff 97 or even the Pro Staff X. And this racket did feel a bit more lively. I did feel like I could generate tons of spin, which was a positive. Now where I was craving more control was on my ground strokes, but where I leaned into this power was on my serve. So loved this playability of the racket when I was starting the point with a big first serve or even a kicker second serve or trying to slice out wide. 
Um, for me, it, again, it just reminds me that I really am enjoying those other pro staff rackets, but very similar to what Jason said, I think this is such a great entry level into the pro staff family, and then you can go from there to see if you're craving more control or you like a little bit more power and spin. Um, all in all, great play test, but I'm gonna stick with probably the RF97, actually, truth be told. We had a chance to play test this racket with several different string setups, but today you're gonna see us hitting with Luxlon ALU Power as well as Luxlon 4G at 52 pounds. To learn more about this racket and all the other ones, please visit us at Tennis Warehouse, Tennis Warehouse Europe, or Tennis Only.